It is the night after the election and a whole new day in Washington. Bob Schieffer is our chief Washington correspondent and anchor of Face the Nation. Jeff Greenfield, our senior political correspondent. Bob, let me start with you. As we mentioned earlier, Democrats are nursing a major midterm hangover this morning and today. What will they do? How are they going to handle this change? You know, I mean, at best, they're in a holding pattern right now. At worst, they're in total disarray. I mean, the, the short answer is they really don't know right now. They don't know if Nancy Pelosi is going to stay uh, as their leader in the House or whether she's going to resign. Uh, Harry Reid, the leader in the Senate, I mean, he's had no time to think about anything but getting himself reelected, and he, he just barely got reelected. So he's got to refocus on this. And then the other part is the president is leaving Friday on a 10-day trip to India and in Asia. So nothing's going to happen until he gets back. So right now, what are they going to do? I don't think even they know. And, and Jeff, you know, we were initially hearing a lot of talk about cooperation and bipartisanship, but it seemed as if at least the Republicans in particular really dug in their heels today and we were hearing a very different tone. Is uh, compromise unlikely at this point? The quote from Jim DeMint that we had earlier about warning the new folks not to be co-opted, he's not the only one saying that. There are a whole group of Republicans coming to Washington with a different mindset to, to stop what they see as overarching government. Rand Paul, the incoming senator from Kentucky, saying, it's not my aim to pass bills, but to repeal them. And you have Mike Pence, the, one of the leading Republicans in the House, saying, I don't think the American people are electing a new generation to, uh, in the hopes that Congress and the White House can get, a, can get along better. So the whole kind of Sesame Street, let's all cooperate, that's not where these Republicans are at. They think they're there to stop something they regard as dangerous. And I think that portends some conflict even within that party. Meanwhile, Barack Obama, it's, it's been said he doesn't like new people. Do you think he's going to have to bring in some new blood to the, into the White House to kind of shake things up? Yes. I do. I mean, think about it. His whole economic team, except for Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner, has already left. His chief of staff, Rahm Emanuel, has gone off to run for mayor of Chicago. Uh, David Axelrod, his chief political advisor, is planning to move to Chicago uh, to start uh, planning for the next campaign. I think, yes, indeed, I think they're going to bring in some new folks, and I think probably they need to bring in some. All right. Bob Schieffer and Jeff Greenfield, gentlemen, thank you as always.